and welcome to another down the rabbit hole video got another unboxing and uh, this one is also for my honoring handhelds triple h section um, I'm kinda hoping that what's inside here is fully functional because one thing that um, I've been discovering as I've been buying these retro handhelds they don't seem to last very well over the years uh, I've already mentioned that my digital derby was not functional the very first one I got and there's another handheld that um, also doesn't completely work uh, when it arrived. So a lot of these electromechanical pieces, the cogs break down over time. Uh, they just tend to not be kept in very good condition. So uh, this particular item, um, I got it from Spain. And uh, the person who posted the sale did not mention if it was functional. I think his wording was, um, appears to be in fully working order no guarantee all the parts are in there or something like that. So I don't know if that means this is a playable toy but it's missing maybe the back cover or if it's broken like all the other ones that I've received. So <clears throat> we're kind of keeping our fingers crossed here. I, um, when I was uh, buying it, um, I made him a counter offer saying, since you're not sure it's fully functional, would you take this reduced price? thinking that he would actually reply, oh, no, no, it's fully functional, etc., etc., but he, he didn't say anything. He just accepted my counteroffer. So I thought, well, all right, uh, I guess I'm going to buy it then. So let's, um, let's see if it works. So you can see here, uh, Rankeo Pagado on Osolana? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a toy. There it is written in Spanish. Uh, let's, let's see what we got. One thing I will give this seller, he certainly packaged it well. And there's no sign of any, um, eBay Global shipping on here, so that's good. Looks like I'll have to go in through the bottom. And here it is. Okay, so what is this? Well, this is a this is a game called Space Chaser, which there's a few different varieties of this. There's one called Space Chaser by Bandai. That's an LED game. This, however, is Space Chaser from a company called Toy Box. Check that out. Wow, that looks awesome. I hope it's fully functional too. Now there's a few varieties of this Space Chaser, uh, ignoring the Bandai LED game. Uh, there's another version of this, I think it's called Vader Chaser 2, uh, also by Toy Box. And it's essentially the same game, but instead of this uh, space planet background, there's some uh, rows of what could only be described as Space Invaders. I mean, they're not 100% copies of the Space Invaders, but you can pretty much tell that's what they're going for. So, yeah, this looks pretty nice. Looks like it's in uh, pretty good order. It does have the back panel, so that's good. Um, apparently, the, the, um, there's a variety of these, or another version of these. See, there's the Toy Box logo there. There's uh, another version of this that doesn't have these holes here. And there seems to be some uncertainty as about why the, some of them have holes. I guess that's for the speaker. And others don't have the holes. So, not sure what's uh, going on there. I guess this means I have the better one? Who knows? But, let's put some batteries in this and uh, see if it works. Okay, well, it took a bit of finagling, but there we go. Got the battery cover off. I can't really tell what type of batteries it takes. It says in there, UM-1. I think that would be C size. Yeah, these look kind of lost in here. Nope, not C size, must be D size. I just happen to have some D's right here. Well, I tell you, with those D's in there, this is a heavy game. All right. Now, <clears throat> what's gonna happen, assuming it works, I'm gonna turn it on, and with this dial here, I'm actually going to be able to steer a, a, um, a missile that can fire up the screen. 
and I'm hoping there's going to be some little floating UFOs back there that I basically want to line up my missile and shoot at. Uh, obviously, I press this button to fire the missile. So, let's try it out. Oh! Well, we... We have a UFO, but boy, is it loud! Let's see if I can shoot it. Oh, I can. Boy, this thing is loud, though. <laughs> wow, that is loud. All right, <clears throat> let's try it again. See if I can actually hit it this time. I'm pleased that it works, though. I think that just resets your score. Okay, so it, it does work. I'm noticing on this half of the screen the, um, the UFO is not showing up. My guess is there's just a light that needs to be repaired. Um, and obviously whenever I hit it, uh, I, it does register a hit, so that's good. It's mostly working. But um, when it, uh, after it has successfully scored a hit and you got the red explosion, it's supposed to reset so it can fire again, and it's not actually firing again. So this is going to take a little repair work, but it's 90% functional. I'm really impressed. This thing is, is actually in pretty decent working order considering its age. So um, there's, uh, there's more details about uh, Space Chaser, both the one that has the UFO or the, the Space Invaders sort of logo here, and um, also a really good video of a properly functioning one of these. So what I'll do is I'll post links below. There's a forum thread, I believe it's on Dragon's Lair forum, um, that shows uh, a fella picking one of these up in its box and uh, his daughter enjoying it a lot. And then I'll also post a video below of um, this in a fully functioning form where the UFO moves across the entire screen and the, uh, the hits get registered properly. So, and maybe I'll... Be brave and take this thing apart and see if I can repair it. Or, I do find with a lot of these things, they just need to be played a lot because uh, they may not have been used in their previous home and they just need to have a bit of dust kicked off by actually being played. So maybe in a little while this will be fully functional with the UFO going across the entire screen and the hits registering properly. However, I'm pretty pleased. And uh, given that the guy actually took my counter offer, this has actually ended up being a very, a very cool little purchase. So... Super heavy and super loud, though. Okay, just a uh, little epilogue here. I actually discovered part of my problem was I was using old batteries. So I've put in much fresher D batteries here. Uh, we still have the problem that the light doesn't work on this side. However, I do notice that if the UFO goes over there and vanishes into the darkness and I shoot a missile up there, it does register a hit. So we know, uh, as far as the game is concerned, the whole screen is being used. It's just the actual light for this portion that's not working. So let me uh, give you another game with these fresh batteries here.
Well, I can see now why they've got those holes on the back for the speaker sometimes covered on some of these units, because that is still pretty loud, even with fresher batteries. However, I'll uh, keep playing away with this and uh, see if I can get it fully functional, but still very pleased. Anyway, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.